First off, a big and warm welcome to Brussels from the Youth Forum. It is great to have more youth advocates here in town. Needless to say, we have a lot to do. The next decade is going to dictate so much. Europe will be one of three nexus points that will define our answers to three really complicated questions. One, on the climate challenge, will we take enough meaningful steps in time to avoid devastation? Two, on the digitization challenge, can we transform democracy to work with instant, open and network sharing anywhere in the world? Three, on the economic challenge, can we remake our financial systems to be both sustainable and operate in a new world paradigm where there's population stability? We won't know the answers to these questions for some time, but in 2021 to 2030, we will lay the foundations of these answers. There are three competing axes at the moment, or voices, the US, the Chinese, and the European ones. Whichever view dictates the next few decades, they will largely dictate the answer to these fundamental questions. No geopolitical power is perfect, of course. Each will have positives and negatives, but I'm convinced of two things relevant to the YMCA, your move to Brussels, and the European bid to control some of that narrative. First, the youth voice is critical in solving the problems. These challenges require us to radically rethink something different, an evolution, and the young are much better placed to do that. Second, the youth voice has much more opportunity to be heard in Europe. Partly cultural, partly structural, it's a longer conversation. But if I were to pick a place to start, Europe would be it. So as you enter your important deliberation pro process to select your new leadership, don't get caught in the small stuff. In the next decade, we're gonna lay the foundations of what a new version of humanity will look like. Will we balance freedom and duty? Will we find and create a just society? A sustainable one, perhaps. I look forward to working hand in hand with the YMCA and its leadership over the coming years to begin to lay those foundations. There is so much to do, and it's so important. If there's anything true, however, about humanity, it's its adaptability. The challenges we are talking about are big, but they're not insurmountable. In 2040, 2044, 2050, historians will look back and they'll be able to trace a neat line of when things started, how they evolved and what they ended up as. And we, together, have the power to impact that narrative and to impact that change. I wish you well in electing your new leadership and I look forward to working hand in hand with them over the coming decades to see what positive impacts we can have on the challenges of sustainability, digitization and finance. Good luck and enjoy the day.